You ever have a car that got rod knock and just goes knock, 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 like really loud? You want to see what's actually happening? I can show you. Um, what you have down here, you have your crankshaft, and it's got weights that counterbalance the pistons and the connecting rods. And this is a good looking one. You see how it's nice and tight? You can shake it, try to shake it, nothing happens. Good and tight. And then see this one? Look at the color difference. See how that's all black? That one's kind of brown. It's not the lighting, it's not the shadow. That actually got really hot. Um, it got so hot, in fact. You see that rattle up and down? You can hear it knocking just like this. But that connecting rod's toast, and then also the crankshaft's toast. Uh, by toast, I mean that they're just so severely worn that they're not salvageable. I mean, that's just nasty. The bearings in that are just totally gone, and it's just wearing on the metal surfaces of the connecting rod, which is this. This is what the pistons bolt on to. But anyway, it's just... That's kind of too bad. The rest of the cylinders are all nice and tight. Everything's good. Just that one didn't get oil. Something blocked oil from getting to that and it just got real hot. So anyway, out with the old, in with the new. We're just going to do a complete motor swap. And should be good. You look at this motor on the back end of it. This is the rear main seal. This is what it looks like. You can see all the wetness. See how it's real clean here? That's because a lot of oil is cleaned over that and it's run over it. So he needed a new rear main seal, he needed a new connecting rod, a new crankshaft. I mean this thing was pretty toast. So the reason why it's so much work and why I'm doing a motor swap is that you have to load the pistons and the new connecting rod from the top. And to do that you have to take off the cylinder head. This is the cylinder head up here. This is the block. You can see the difference in the color. This is a cast iron block and then that's an aluminum cylinder head. And the reason why you have to do them from the top is the piston rings, you know like the pistons are round and you got rings on the top. You have to hold in the rings while you load it down into the cylinder. There's no way to load the piston rings up into there. It's just not possible the way that the engine's designed. Anyway, that's rod knock. I just figured I'd share that. And uh, I'm just doing a quick video. I've been making a ton of videos lately, but I haven't been editing them and posting them. I've been getting flack for not editing them. But then I never have time to edit them, so that's kind of why I haven't had any videos. But anyway, that's Rodnock.